we continue to bring you coverage of the largest exhibition of the most interesting and coolest robots from around the world, ICRA 2024, which recently took place in Yokohama, Japan. This is the second episode on our channel where we've gathered all the most fascinating highlights from the exhibition. Welcome to the world of the future, just as it is bound to become in the coming years. You are on the Caro Show channel, so enjoy watching. The Chinese company Fourier Intelligence presented their latest humanoid robot GR1 at the exhibition, which is now in mass production. Standing at 165 centimeters tall and weighing 55 kilograms, the robot has 40 degrees of freedom distributed throughout its body. The joint module installed at the hip can generate a peak torque of 300 newton meters, allowing it to move at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour and carry loads up to 50 kilograms. GR1 is equipped with depth cameras in its head and torso, along with visual algorithms for perceiving its immediate surroundings. This enables the robot to quickly recognize objects and people, avoid obstacles and perform tasks based on visual information. GR1 can grasp objects of various shapes and weights, adjusting its grip to avoid damaging them. Additionally, the robot supports fleet management software, meaning a person can use a single controller to manage a group of robots assign tasks and monitor operations. Fourier stated that they expect to sell GR1 for applications such as research and education, entertainment and exhibitions, healthcare and rehabilitation, security inspection and more. Tokyo Robotics brought some of the most interesting humanoid robots to the exhibition, including the robot Dry Arec. Dry Arec was developed to learn and acquire human skills. Each joint of the robot is equipped with a high-resolution torque sensor, and its surface is made of a gel material similar to human skin. The robot's movements are smooth, allowing it to perfectly mimic human motions. Currently, researchers are working on creating intelligent robots based on the Dry Arec that will assist people with manual tasks, particularly household chores. Dry Arec is already capable of performing numerous functions. For example, it can identify clothes dried in various ways and positions, and carry out actions such as bending and straightening its arm, grasping and lifting clothes. Tokyo Robotics also showcased their humanoid robot named Torobo. Despite its outdated design, the robot is quite skillful. It can precisely control resistance and the force applied to objects, making it suitable for environments where there is active contact with people. However, there is a sense that the robot clearly falls short of modern standards. Kawasaki brought the new generation of their robot Kaleido to the exhibition, but unfortunately it was hanging lifelessly on the stand. Like its close relative, the Friends robot, Kaleido is being developed to care for the elderly. These robots make a splash annually at the IREX exhibitions in Japan. According to the company, the updated Kaleido is smaller and lighter, now weighing only 40 kilograms. It has improved abilities to interact with people and maintain balance when pushed. It has also become safer for humans. Unfortunately, the robot was not shown in motion. The exhibition also featured a goat robot, the descendant of the massive robo-goat that carried Kawasaki employees in 2022. The new version called Bex 2 clearly cannot carry anyone, but it can follow a person carrying loads or additional equipment. The company Enchanted Tools showcased their robot Miroki once again. This robot, designed for homes, hospitals, hotels, and nursing homes, moves on a spherical base, navigates well in its environment, and can grasp objects with a 97% success probability. According to the manufacturer, the robot is being tested at six experimental sites and in three research laboratories. Additionally, this year Maroki is set to begin real work in an elderly care hospital in Paris. The robot can bring water to patients, clear lunch trays in hospital cafeterias, and deliver gloves and other personal protective equipment to doctors.
At the robotics exhibition, Kawada Robotics showcased their most advanced collaborative robot named NextAge. NextAge is a robot designed to replace humans in monotonous tasks, such as those on production lines. According to the manufacturer, the robot can work alongside humans, other machines, and use specialized tools. The robot's torso weighs only 29 kilograms, while its base weighs 130 kilograms. The height is adjustable and can reach up to 170 centimeters. Next stage is capable of lifting objects weighing up to 3 kilograms. The robot is intended for use in factories and other production lines. It can be controlled via a tablet with specialized software that can be quickly configured for specific tasks. Deep Robotics showcased their robot dog named Light 3 at the exhibition. The primary purpose of the robot is to teach robotics in specialized classes at educational institutions. The robot can carry loads weighing up to 75 kilograms. Light 3 can perform tricks such as front flips, horizontal and vertical jumps, and other complex maneuvers. The robot is capable of climbing steps up to 15 centimeters high and can accelerate to 4 meters per second. It is also equipped with a powerful battery that allows it to operate autonomously for up to two hours. The Unitree Robotics robot dog named Go1 was also showcased at ICRA 2024. Due to its intelligent side-following system with cameras and sensors, the robot dog can accurately follow its owner wherever they go. The Go1 folds more compactly for storage and transport and it has a convenient carrying handle on its back. The robot dog weighs 12 kilograms. A full battery charge allows the device to operate for 90 minutes. The robot dog can handle an additional load of up to 3 kilograms. An interesting telecontrol system was presented at the Hitachi booth. Here the robot had a literal smaller twin behind it. By moving the smaller twin's limbs with your hands, you can easily and simply control the larger robot. Shadow Robot also premiered at the exhibition. The company, which has spent many years creating the most dexterous, sensitive, and human-like hands in every way, has moved away from the idea of mimicking human anatomy. The new Shadow Hand is developed based on research and ideas from Google DeepMind, and has only three fingers. According to the developers, this design improves speed, flexibility, accuracy, and most importantly, the strength and durability of the robotic hand. The hand boasts precise torque control and can withstand a gripping force of up to 10 newtons per finger. Each of the four joints in a finger is driven by motors located at the base and connected through a unique tendon-like system allowing the fingers to transition from fully open to closed in 500 milliseconds. Each finger is an autonomous unit that includes a range of tactile sensors and a stereo camera aimed at the inner surface of the silicone skin. Both the sensors and the fingers themselves are easily replaceable. There were surprisingly few cooking robots at ICRA, but a bartender robot from KUKA entertained the visitors. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.